this practice is one of connection. It's a very gentle turning toward. We're talking about difficult things right now. The fear that we feel that we might be shot when we go to a yoga class, when we go to school, or when we send our children to school. So we very naturally have a fear response. And for the next 10 or 15 minutes, we're gonna work with that. So there's a couple of tools. One is that we know that we don't want to get lost in our response. We want to maintain the mindfulness perspective that we're watching and observing what is coming up right now in our system, in our body, our breath, our mind. So if there's disturbing images, or if you're feeling like you're kind of getting lost in it, then open your eyes. You could look around the room. You could do any of the emergency self-care things that we do. You could hold your hand, rub your hands together. You could tap, bring your two fingers to your forehead and tap. Move your attention away from the words and images and just into the sound and the sensation of the tapping on your forehead. You could open your eyes and put the images across the room on the wall. Notice that there's space between you and the image. And there's no perfect way to do this. So however it is that you're working with this, it's fine. Give yourself permission to step forward and then step back. We're not aggressive in any way. We're gently inquiring and noticing and breathing. Keep a really close attention to your breath as well. It's very, very common to stop breathing. We breathe in and then we just kind of hold our breath or we breathe out and we can't take in another breath. So one thing to do would be to work with the breath. Let your breath move down into your belly. And let's focus on the breath for just a moment. When we're in fear, we don't breathe fully part of the freeze response. We don't want to be noticed. Our protection is linked to not being noticed by a predator. And we can get that shallow held pattern very, it's very persistent. So we start by noticing our breath. If it feels like it's okay, you could expand your breath a bit. Give yourself a bit more room to breathe. And notice the continuity of your breath. Just as you're finishing your exhale, let yourself go right into the inhale. As soon as you've got enough breath for this moment, then right into the exhale. Let yourself be soothed by your breath. Notice your shoulders, notice the whole back of your neck and shoulders, the muscles of your upper back, muscles that cover your rib cage. And notice if it feels like it's okay for you to take a deeper breath and maybe even feel that into the lower ribs.
Notice the sides of the ribs, the front of your chest, the muscles that cover your rib cage at the front as well. And notice the stomach area again. We can always come back to the breath. And sometimes when we're really scared, the breath doesn't feel that accessible to us. So if that's the case, we don't have to focus on the breath. We could focus on relaxing through the back of our body. We could relax different parts of the body like the forehead and eyebrows. We're reconnecting with our body right now. So part of that is noticing what's happening. And part of that is allowing ourselves to soften. That might be that you clench your jaw. Your teeth are clenched together. You could move your lower jaw around a bit. And at some point, maybe you could take a few deeper breaths. When we're afraid, we move into hypervigilance. And when we relax a bit, it can feel so good to take some deeper breaths. And by doing that, we signal our system Danger isn't present this moment. So it's not like we're denying the danger in the world. We're just noticing that right now in this moment, our bodies are safe. And that we could relax and tune in and reconnect. One of the ways that we do that is through the breath. Another way is through relaxing our body relaxing the mental vigilance, and also relaxing the physical vigilance. You could even move your body around a bit if you want. There's no need to stay completely still. Sometimes it feels good to shake it out or stretch somehow. There's an immobilizing quality of fear. So moving helps us to break through that. And notice what's happening in your mind. What are the thoughts in your mind right now? There might be flashes of words, images, all kinds of things might be going on in your mind as you're thinking about what we were talking about at the beginning. There's so much violence in the world right now. It's not even safe to go to a synagogue or a school or a yoga class. So we notice we're having a response and one of the things that our nervous system is not able to recognize is that we have images of threats that aren't present in our own personal lives right now. When we see images of violence, it's experienced in our body as a present danger and our body responds accordingly. So not even to consider the question of, are we in danger? Because clearly there is a lot of danger in the world right now and it's unpredictable, we don't know. We can reassure ourselves that it's not likely to happen to us, but in fact, it's happened to other people that are very similar to us. So 
So trying to make ourselves feel safe by distancing ourselves isn't all that helpful. It doesn't work all that well. But one thing that might help is to notice right now if you could relax your body and open up your breath a bit. If you could let go of the images. And one of the ways that we do that is by opening our eyes, putting them on the wall or by doing tapping. So work with this in a way that's relevant to what's happening in your system right now. If you have lots of images, work with the images. Words, sounds, tapping is very effective for that. We're just reminding ourselves of what's happening in this moment. We're connecting with our own experience right now. And there's always a lot of energy in the body when we're afraid. And when we're disconnected, we don't really feel that so much. There's this big lump of tension. Our whole body might feel quite distressed or numb. There's a lot of different ways that could happen. And as we're tuning in, we're beginning to notice that just our attention can help ease things a little bit. When we notice our shoulders are tight, we tend to soften them. When we notice we've stopped breathing, we tend to take a breath. And we could use the syllable vu as a way to bring ourselves into the body a little bit more as well. You're just breathing in normally. And then breathe out with that sound, vu. Let it come right from your belly, through your chest. Let it reverberate in your body. What does that feel like right now in your body? Very specific focus of concentration. Just that regular inhale, exhaling with that sound, noticing how it feels in your body as you're doing that. And notice your whole body. You can continue the sound or let go of it, come back to a normal kind of a resting breathing pattern. Notice your whole body from head to toes. What does it feel like in your body now? Notice your forehead, your eyebrows, your eyes. Corners of your mouth, your tongue, the root of your tongue into your vocal cords, the hinges of your jaw. And the back of your neck, your shoulders. You can move your shoulders up if you want and then let them settle back down. Notice your shoulders and your back. Your chest and your belly.
And notice that you're observing your own experience. We're having an experience and we're aware we're having an experience. And also bring your attention to who or what it is that's having the experience. Bring attention to your being. And we know that we're not always having this experience. We have so many experiences in our lives. Sometimes we're just clear and happy. We're relaxed and present. Other times we're frightened, we're sad. There's so much variety in our experience. And there's a common thread. There's someone who's experiencing all of this. And there's something timeless here as well. Something that's never changed, that's not tossed around by the experiences. And we can connect with all of those different layers. Notice your breath again, your whole body. And we go out into the world. And before we do, our mind starts to bring us out into the world again. And one of the ways that we get through our lives, especially when there's a lot of difficulty, is that we get tight around it, we tighten up, we avoid, we disconnect. And it doesn't feel good. And so these practices of reconnecting, of just tuning into what it feels like in the body or the breath, to work to let go of some of those images in the mind through tapping or working with them in other ways, moving your body, using your tools to support yourself. It's a really good idea. Set your intention that through the day, you'll tune back in to yourself. You'll give yourself the gift of your own attention, your own presence. And then when you're ready, open your eyes.